This is a poem for Lucy. In high school, an older boy in a band drove me in his car to Bumbershoot, and my friend came with me. He checked out her ass. It was nice. He chose a favorite part of my body, and we started a band. Then at lunch one day, Lucy sat beside me, and she said that she was fucking my boyfriend. She had an amazing Barbie body with big, beautiful breasts, a stomach worthy, worthy of a comic book heroine, a face like a funny old-timey doll, small pupils and big teeth, and I didn't believe in sex before marriage. He claimed to be a Christian. This was a lesson about Christians. I wasn't angry, and this shocked her. I felt pain for her. Did you want vengeance against myself or the drummer boy? Years later, she found love, deleted her Facebook, her funny face, now beautiful, but sad. She saw how she had been viewed, but lived happily ever after. I also saw the drummer afterward in the grocery store, a blonde girl with a pea coat in tow. I knew without confirming they met at a big box rock and roll Jesus place. He said they were married, but didn't seem happy. That's what he wanted though. None of us are friends now that we know we never liked each other, but we're trapped. Lucy and, I, Lucy and I didn't want to be in that dynamic. The privileged boys play where one girl is a whore and a servant for fucking and an embarrassment and another girl kept pure like a Jane Austen novel. The young Lord leaves the maid forever after a fun summer of gluttony and they are rewarded while we are punished and nothing has changed. We all wanted to be women of substance, so we are never going back. And Lucy, if you are out there, I don't blame you for the system that we were in, and I would rather be your friend than the girlfriend of a Christian drummer.